I love our house, I really do. I know I have to mow at some point, but look at these. I've never seen these until moving to Alaska. They're beautiful. Those are dandelions, that's all those are. But yeah, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Hi, oh, is that you? When I say pretty, that's you? I call it pretty. They're pretty peonies. They're pretty peonies. They're pretty. <laughs> so here we are on the back side of the house and unfortunately after the uh, construction people dug this whole place up they had to replace the septic tank so when we bought the house the grass hasn't grown back and I'm really sad because I don't think the grass is gonna grow back we're gonna have to like replant this is so beautiful oh my gosh I don't even want to step on it because it's just so beautiful <sighs> The great thing is, apparently, there are a lot of berries back here, too. Like, I'm not really familiar with the type of berries that grow here in Alaska, but I will learn. I wonder if those are berries. Nah, berries, berries usually have, like, stickers, don't they? I don't know. Wow, look at this flower. I just realized I was standing in a patch of it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to step on any of this. It's all beautiful. But I realized everything here is covered in this, so technically it's like... I can't really walk anywhere if I don't want to step on something beautiful. This place is absolutely covered in beautiful flowers. What's crazy is they say the flowers aren't even out yet. The flowers come out in the summer and I think it's still considered spring right now. I don't know when summer actually begins in Alaska, but my gosh, I cannot imagine just how beautiful this place is going to be with flowers. It's already gorgeous. I'm so excited for that. And look at all this, these flowers, I love these flowers. I wonder what they are. Whatever they are, they're beautiful. All right, I'm gonna make my way back very carefully. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of Alaskans are watching this right now going, ah, freaking noob. <laughs> I just love flowers a lot, that's what it is. I love flowers. Oh wait, here we go, here's a, uh, a plant with some thorns. Maybe this is gonna be a, a berry bush or something. But it has that, and I'm seeing that everywhere. Wait, are all these plants berry bushes? Maybe. All right, I'm gonna get my hair cut. <laughs> and my hair is cut. Oh, I feel not so scary. <laughs> but my gosh, my hair is getting so gray. Like, wow, I used to dye my hair for like a long time because I didn't want to look old, but now I'm just kind of like embracing it because Kristen likes the salt and pepper. But wow, yeah. Uh, at least I'm not losing it. All right, what's next? Workout. All right, that was a good workout. So good. It's actually one of my favorite feelings in the world, one of the, the feelings that I'm having right now. It's like... I'm so tired, like, I'm kind of delirious. Like, I, I feel like I could throw up. I'm not, I never do. But like, everything's all spotty <laughs> and twinkly outside. Just, it's the way my vision is right now because I'm just so tired and worked. I worked out today for about an hour and 15 minutes. A lot of it was warm up and cool down, but still, I put my body to the test today. I really want to get in shape. <laughs> it's one of my favorite feelings in the world because I know I did something. I know I worked hard, and I'll get good results fast. All right, let's get home. Oh my God, I am so hungry. So, so hungry. Oh yeah, I've got tons of salmon. But first we're gonna make a pit stop at the post office because it's been a little while since I've checked the mail. Yes, this thing is still open and you still can send packages. Oh, yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. I just stopped coming here uh, for a little bit because there was so much junk mail. Oh my gosh, I got a yellow slip. Division of Agriculture. That is a weird place to get a package from. I wonder what that is. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the, the P.O. box again to you guys. I know it's it's been open, I, I never closed it. Um, but I just, I, I loved getting letters from you guys and I know it's been a little while since we've really talked about it, but it's mainly because, and I'll just go ahead and say it, people were sending us a lot of weird things. By weird things, I mean dead animals. Yeah. Some people were sending us dead animals. And it wasn't just people wanting us to bury their pets in Alaska. There were a few of those. 
but it was also people sending us dead animals to eat. And that to me was a little far. And it was like an animal that they raised and then killed specifically to send uh, to Krista and I to eat. And while I understand where they were coming from, it was just a little bit too far. And that's not what the P.O. Box was for. <laughs> Definitely wasn't. We can catch our own food. We can uh, buy our own food. So don't send any food stuff. If you guys want to send packages, you know what? Cool. If you want to send them, awesome. We're not going to say no, um, but we're not asking for packages. We're not asking for anything. We love letters more than anything. So anything you guys want to send, fine. But also, also keep in mind, guys, that we do read everything. We get everything. We open everything. And we love everything. But we don't always talk about everything on the vlog. So when you send something, um, it, it may not always make it in the vlog. So don't, like, be upset if it doesn't show up. But again, we love it. We really do. Even if we don't say anything straight back right away, just know that we do appreciate it. So, anyways, I'm gonna get home and eat because I am still really hungry. All right, we're gonna get new neighbors, awesome. All right, food time. Need some food. Got to get the food. All right, so I'm getting ready to head out to a work event with a lot of the Koreans I work with. We're gonna have some awesome Korean barbecue, amazing food. Anyway, I'll try and show you guys kind of what a work event is like in Korea. It's pretty interesting. William, William, William. This morning you saw Latin there, so William and Sam. What's your name? That's me. I sit there. That's my seat now. Christine. Love shot, love shot. Love shot. <laughs> Don't be shy. No, no offshore, love shot. No rainbow. time it is in Alaska but I'm exhausted <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna go to bed I'll send you guys back to Corey and I'll see you tomorrow goodbye all right so here's what I made tonight I made a creamy salmon pasta it looks awesome it smells awesome and I bet it's gonna taste awesome oh my gosh I'm so ready oh oh my god mmm I'm gonna make that again for Kristen. That is really good. Oh. TiVo. All right, you guys ready for this? It's time for science. All right, so we got our potato, we got our science kit. Let's open this up and see how it works. We'll just do a little unboxing. This is the first time I'm seeing any of this. All right, we've got, is that it? That's all it's nice. So we've got that. These are the instructions, apparently. Oh my gosh, it comes with the actual standee from the game. That is awesome. All right, so one pin at the end, one on the side, and then one of those things on that side. Something's happening. I'm not sure what, but hmm. I'll just let that sit for a minute. All right, let's try it now. I love Portal. It's such a cool game and just such cool stuff. 
All right, guys, it's getting kind of late, so I'm going to go to bed. I've got daybreak in the morning, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye! This thing's awesome.